Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Now I want to try and drive top speed and also do full acceleration. We'll see how the traffic is and if there is just stuff that I'm not allowed to do. So if there's speed limit <laughs> and if I can even do the full acceleration. Also had, have reset my trip. If you want to see that, we'll see at the we'll look at the consumption as well. But well, let's go. Three, two, one, go! Oh yes! Let's see. Hundred and 84, 185. At this speed, the steering wheel feel is not amazing. It's too, ooh, and the bumpy ride makes it even more, no, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun. When it's a bumpy ride and your steering wheel is very nervous, so a tiny movement does something at a high speeds, when you have to corner just a tiny bit, you feel like you're not in control. Maybe you have to get used to that. But let's do 160 for the road, no, road noise. Okay. 160 is okay. It's windy down, out there, I, I noticed that. But let's accelerate again from 100. Full. Oh yeah, that's just power. Oh yeah, that's fun. But I wouldn't drive faster than 160 at this stretch here. I think wind and, and with the steering wheel feel. I'm sorry, I'm not a fan of the steering wheel feel when you drive too fast. It's the same as in the BMW i3s that I just drove. The, it's too sensitive that a tiny movement does something. Uh, it, it's too nervous but it's still power when you accelerate. And of course, the, since the region is so strong, when you get off the accelerator pedal, you instantly have, uh, have a feeling of a lot of braking and then the car moves around. And that, that happens with a lot of cars. Let's do that again. 184, and then that's, yeah. You, you, you feel the car is moving. Yeah, in three kilometers I have to get out of the highway, then drive back, and then I bring the car back. And then I will go home. <laughs> yeah, and you have to keep the steering wheel in hand. It's, it's too nervous for, for that kind of speed. What's the consumption? <laughs> 520. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. Oh, yes. Yeah, and, and this could be all me with the high speeds and the feeling because I'm not used to drive that fast. But again, steering wheel for me at this speed. At low speeds, it's fine. Yeah, it's the first time I have to touch the brake since I have the car because region is so strong and so amazing. But when you drive 180 and have to slow down, you need the brakes. <laughs> yeah, cornering in the car is okay but not amazing. Then when you drive a bit like this, mm, I don't know. I don't know. But of course, this. Oh yes, 300 kilowatt, that's the stuff. <laughs> ooh, but with the wind, with that big car, ooh, it was not a nice feeling. But that acceleration was nice. Yeah, ID3 needs the power. <laughs> I don't know if we could I could control the car then, <laughs> because I only know it with less power. Oh, regen. Still haven't break. This is all regen. This is all regen. Oh, let's do it here, huh? Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> So fast at acceleration right there and all-wheel drive especially. Let's try the cornering again. 
it's okay. It, I take it back. It's not as, as bad as I thought. Yeah, but at 100 kilometers an hour right now, steering wheel is just perfect. Because a tiny movement, it still moves around, I can feel it, but at 100 it, it doesn't affect what you're doing so much. At 180 it does. I'll wait for that truck, 60, and... 4! Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't need more power than this. This is enough. This enough is enough power. When it, if, if it would have a, a better steering wheel feel, it would be even more amazing to pass a car or something, drive a bit more sporty sometimes. But, you know, if you want to pass, you normally go out a, a bit, and so steering... But even at 160, how it, it accelerates to the 180, it's just so fast. Yeah, but I wouldn't recommend driving faster than 160. Even at 160, you have to hold the steering wheel firm. 120, and full! Wow! 300 kilowatt, 408 horsepower. Yeah, I have sweaty hands now because of the steering wheel. I have to hold on so tight. Slow down a bit so we can drive again. Oh, and it comes in right away. There's no delay or anything. It's just woof. That is Tesla feeling. They did it well. From the standstill, you get a bit of a, not a delay, but you get a, a power limit. You don't have full power right away. But when you're driving 80 and you want full power, you have full power and it feels like that. And there's no E sound. I like that too. And there's nothing I have to press. When I get into this car, there's nothing I have to do inst instead of putting it into D for driving. I don't have to do anything. D, go. I don't have to switch to brake mode or accept some term online mode or whatever, I just go. That's nice. No start-stop button as it should be. And now I'm totally off the pedals, I don't brake, I don't do anything, Region is holding me. Oh, the, the motors sound amazing when they, when they, when the Region slows you down to the stop. They get a very deep sound. Awesome. And when you're standing, the steering wheel is completely soft, but still very nervous. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.